Hello Zion Crusaders! Wow, it has been a long five months since we have seen each other. We have really missed you and your families and we're really looking forward to seeing you in person in just a few short days. School will look a little different this year and we will be showing you some of those changes in this video. But so many great things about our school will remain exactly the same. Just like our Father in Heaven, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In this video, we will highlight some of the changes that can be found in the Zion Lutheran School Reopening Plan for 2020. We will also be meeting some new faces around the school. Our school theme verse this year comes right out of Matthew, and it says that the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. And this year, we are going to be looking to Jesus as our example of what it means to be a servant. If you are a servant, you think of others as more important than you think of yourself. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing this year. The things that we are asked to do, like wearing a mask, washing our hands, staying socially distant, and not coming to school when we're feeling sick, all of these things are acts of service so that others don't also get sick. So sit back, put on your mask, and enjoy the back to school video. This year, all families will be required to daily self-certify that their students are free of COVID-19 symptoms and have a clean mask for the child to wear by 7.20 a.m. We will be using the Teacher E system for this process. By sending your child to school, you are certifying that your child does not have a fever of 100.4 degrees or greater and is not displaying any of the symptoms related to COVID-19, which can be found on the Illinois Department of Public Health website. Those symptoms include fever, shortness of breath, cough, sore throat, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. In addition, some individuals may present congested or runny nose, new loss of sense of taste or smell, nausea, fatigue, muscle, or body aches. All pre-certified students will need to be dropped off at the back Cook Street doors. We are asking that all cars enter the car line by traveling west on Wayne Street and turning right into the alley, just like our afternoon pickup. Please make sure the students from the car in front of you have entered the building before releasing your student from your car. This will allow us time to check for the pre-certification while keeping ample social distance. You can access Teacher East through any web browser, your smartphone, a, a home computer, or even a tablet. On days when a student is in attendance, parents will be prompted to fill the COVID-19 screening questionnaire when they log in to Teacher East. If you have multiple students, both students will need the screening. The questionnaire is a set of simple yes or no questions. The parents answer all of them and then save the form. After submitting the responses, parents will see a pass or fail status message. Teacher Ease will then compile the list for Zion for accurate entry into the building. It's very important that you complete this every morning for your child to be able to enter at the back door. If they are not on our pre-certification list, they will have to enter through the front doors and then you will need to be called to do that pre-certification. All right, bus riders. Our bus riders will actually have a two-step process for pre-certification. Bus riders will need to also follow the public school system of pre-certification. In this system, each rider will have a lanyard with a pre-certification card to be used for each day of the week. On the front of the card are the pre-certification questionnaires, the same ones that you will be using for teacher ease. If all of the answers to those pre-certification questions are no, then sign and date that card on the back and make sure your child is wearing it as they board the bus. We ask that entrance into the office by parents and all other visitors be limited as much as possible. We have placed baskets in the entryway for your convenience. Please use these in lieu of coming into the office to drop off paperwork, lunch payments, or forgotten book bags and lunch boxes. If you must come in, please call the office prior to entering and wait in your vehicle. The secretary will then tell you when there's availability to come in. All adults entering into the school shall self-certify that they are free, free of fever and other COVID-19 symptoms. And just a reminder, Zion's first day of attendance for K through eighth grades is September 2nd. There will be no bus service 
in the mornings or the afternoons until September 8th when the public school begins student attendance. Preschool begins the week of September 8th. My name is Miss Ayers and I'm the new second grade teacher and I'm so excited to see you soon. We've all been working really hard here getting the classrooms ready and I just thought I would take a minute to tell you a little bit more about myself. I am from Lincoln and I actually grew up there and when I was younger I went to Zion Lutheran School in Lincoln and I found out a few weeks ago that Mrs. Yapel and I probably played volleyball against each other when we were in junior high. So that was pretty neat. And um, I, I'm really excited to work here this fall. Um, God has used Christian education to really help me build a foundation of faith in Christ in my life. And I am so thankful for that and I'm excited to see what God is gonna do for this upcoming school year here at Zion. And I thought I could really quickly take you on a quick tour of the classroom. So I will just show you a few highlights and I'm excited for the second graders to start um, coming to school and using these things. So I thought I could give you a quick tour of the classroom and I'm so excited to meet the second graders. So on the first day of school, you're gonna come through the door and you'll have your backpacks and a few school supplies and you're going to come on over to your brand new cubbies and you're going to hang up your backpack, find your name, and come to your desk. And as you can see, we've got a lot of really exciting things in the classroom to use this year. One of my favorite things is the trampoline and you're going to get a chance to come jump on it. And kids that aren't in second grade, you can come over anytime and jump on it too as long as it's okay with your teachers. And here's the library. We're going to read a lot this year. There's a lot of different books that people have given us. And even people from Mount Pulaski, like Pastor's Family, some of their old books are in our library, and I'm so excited to get started in reading. And then this is the calendar area. We're going to use this a lot in math this year. And as you can see, the birthdays are up and ready for us to go. And then this is the desk area in the front of the classroom and we'll be doing a lot of things on the smart board this year and also using iPads and different technology to help us learn. And I just want to remind you all that on the first day of school, you have to bring your masks. I've already got mine ready. Do you want to see it? Here it is. Oh, not that kind of mask. Sorry, this kind of mask, okay? Make sure you bring your mask to school and um, every day you're going to wear it. So yeah, we're going to have a great year and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. We would also like you to meet Miss Lori Hodges, our new school cook. Miss Lori comes to Zion with lots of experience working in school lunch programs. She has worked in the Lincoln Junior and Senior High School and also at the LSA Indicator. We are very pleased to have her join Zion Lutheran School this year. Mr. Brady Thomas will be back again this year, but since we will not be starting the year with PE, Mr. Thomas will spend his mornings as the teacher's aide in the kindergarten and first grade classroom and he will also be assisting Mrs. Allen during lunch and recess periods. Welcome back, Mr. Thomas. Hi kids, I can't wait to see you next week. Hi everybody, can't wait to see you back here at school. We've got everything ready, can't wait to see you next week. Hey everyone, I can't wait to see you all. I'm ready, are you? Hey kids, I've missed you. Can't wait to see you next week. 